not seen, uh, I actually haven't seen Dan pull out K Roll in a hot minute. That would have actually been hype. I mean, K Roll's better now. Yeah. But, but Mario. Yeah, Mario, exactly. I mean, See, already off to a fine start. I mean, I mean, Dan does have his name given from Mario himself. Yep. All right, forward air. Dan starting off on ledge, not really off to a too hot of a start. It's pretty even right out the gate. Earl holding down stage pretty well. Just staying at max range, except an unsafe approach there. Dan gets a throw out of it. Yeah, so Earl will go for tilt a lot, uh, especially when he's on the ground. I mean, obviously, I guess that's the only place you can do tilt. But uh, it's a very viable option, especially against Mario's kind of like small limbs. Um, and they're playing. They're playing to be to fight against. I believe. I can't. I literally uh, just got here. Losers. The, uh, uh, losers semis. I think uh, Rin is waiting in losers semis. I believe so. Match. Yes. Oh yes, because Aztec qualified yes. because Rin was already in. Uh, well, tried to tech chase there, but was a little bit too early on that. F smash. They're dead. Even still living, but. Still has a jump, oh. tries to catch him on the way up, but Dan being able to make it back. Back throw might, no, but puts him in a bad position. Yeah, Earl sadly only got the, sec the first hit of that neutral air. Ooh, almost popped the shield, but got up. Dan with the perfect positioning. Dan wasn't too worried about that shield being being so yeah. low just because Earl was still off stage. The only thing Earl really could have done was maybe hit a forward air or another shield breaker. Back throw, tries to get it there, the up B out of shield. Oh, and a very nice string by Dan there. I think he was going for Catch a rhythm another one. Section, but he uh, missed the platform. Usually when you see the Nair come out, that's kind of what Dan's going for in general. He's going for a reset position and trying to see if he's going to go to the platform or not so they can have a follow-up there. And that's the thing that's so dangerous about Dan. He's got follow-ups on follow-ups and just the bravery to do stuff like that. And now he's up he's still three living. stocks to one, and he's still living. And, and this is not where you want Dan to now be. There we Having go. a whole stock on you at low percent means if he gets if he gets one confirm. Okay. I was going to say earlier that uh, Earl does like using downer to get out, out of those uh, setups from Dan. Good damage, good uh, hit stun, so we can kind of like big gauge his options afterwards. And good awareness from Earl. He's he getting caught in some of these combos, but it's not too dangerous. He's DI'ing out of these setups so that he doesn't extend off of the platforms, but not too safe on the landings. He gets caught by that forward smash. And, and Dan, that's Dan, gonna be game one. Dan reading that down there. Uh, it's 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 very good option when they are approaching, but he's got really rough landing lag. Yeah, I'm about to say that's the second time that he caught him with that. Yeah. I think Dan's even laughing about it right now. You see uh, behind Earl, he got Ren waiting on the other on the other side of what loser semi. Yep. He's, he's just in the back, just vibing, chilling out with the. Oh, okay, oh, we, we got, got a switch. Huh. Maybe a little bit more of the aggression and a little bit more of the chutzpah. Get in, get that damage. My my guess is because he doesn't want to go bomb against uh, Mario just because flood. Exactly. So this is probably like the good balance of it. Like you do have the sour spots that's gonna hinder Roy just a little bit, but. The damage is more than more or less the same, and you still got the the safety net with the recovery. And you got a little bit better moving on the, around yeah. the around the uh, stage. You also got a pretty decent out of shield option with that up B. Mm -hmm. Not the best. It can be a little bit shaky on connecting with some ranges, but for the most part, it's it's better than having no out of shield option at all. Oh, absolutely. All right, now hey, uh, Roy's already sneaking ahead. Until. Oh, caught him on the edge of the up smash. I thought he was too far away. I didn't think that was going to work. Yeah, maybe maybe that's another reason why I brought it out. Because that up smash does have pretty beefy range horizontally. Whiffs on the up smash. Another up B. Already we're seeing loads of improvement right on the second game. Oh, and he... He, he baited he, the uh, forward smash. He's learning. He's starting to believe. It's scary when someone starts believing Roy. That character is a, a truck. He's trying to hit you at all times. Oh, good catch on the down air from Dan on that landing, and now it's back to even stocks. 
and then using using that up out of shield not not does not use it as frequently as a lot of people would like him to but it, when he does use it it i mean it's situa it it's situations yeah. where you know he knows when it's going to connect and it's just guaranteed damage and you just he's in those kinds of situations you're just looking to reset everything back to neutral especially with the character with the, with the amount of reach that roy has any any sorties it's a little bit more better of an option just because you know he was not gonna be able to jab you that well uh mario is not a shield forward tilt that's gonna take it and now earl with a pretty good lead going into this next stock oh he tried it again had dan gotten that forward smash that would we could have got two do it again two uppies probably gonna do it right oh yeah i felt that he's doing it can do it again that's the one adaption that Earl has made work really well so far, is that any time that he's been looking to land, he's been faking out Dan and not landing in any of those smash attacks. But right there, <laughs> whiffing a jab. That's just some good old-fashioned footsies right there. Yeah, everyone, everyone knows Dan for his up smashes, but his forward smashes yep. are just as on point. All right, forward tilt. Still got a pretty good percent lead, but the one grab is all that Dan really needs to bring this back percentage-wise. Back air, got Dan off stage. No two-frame on that. It's a hard one to two-frame. Good parry, but out of range of the down tilt. Nice spacing on Earl's part. Jab back air, and that's going to seal it out. Really good game from Earl, running it back 1-1. Yeah, but Dan was starting to bring it back. He saw he got Earl up to, four, to almost four, about four smash for uh, kill range. Yeah, and he started to you know recognize the spacing of forward. It's like, because here's the thing, even though like, you don't want to come down on Roy Sour Spot too often, mm. you can still space it out that way so that if your opponent does parry it, you're out of range of their punishment. Like, out the, like he recognized that a couple of times he came down on shield. Dan was ready with parry down to punish. So he's like, all right, well, let's just back up the spacing a little bit. And sure enough, it came out. You can see that, that upbeat yet again. Yeah, the upbeat has been putting in a lot of mileage for Earl to set. Like Any time that Dan has been too overzealous on shield, it, that's just been the go-to option. It, it's just such a, it's so, it's such a large hitbox. See, see yeah. look. Does good damage. forward tilt an important thing with Roy's with Roy's jab especially is that it kind of pushes you out of that grab range so if someone tries to punish on shield with that, that jab it just gives you another option nice with punish there forward smash for jab forward air dislodging Dan oh, oh he had that it. I'll take right. that trade yep take that trade every single day now Earl once again with a pretty good lead Back throw puts him in a pretty bad position. Dan going out to edge guard and gets kind of, that. That was a weird. That was a pretty like weird interaction. But yeah, it, uh, it, it, looked, like, it was like Dan. Was it was Dan ball. pretty much reacting to where Earl was going. He had he did a really good job of just kind of waiting off stage to see what option Earl would go for, and just kind of reacting to it on the fly. Like you could saw like in that interaction that was definitely more of. Dan seeing where he's going is like, okay, I got to get to where he's going before he gets there. Instead of just like reading him, it was just like a dead on reaction. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah back air. Yep, I, I was going to say that was, a, that was a very smart uh, not grab up B, but Earl did not fall for it. Oh, no. It, like, if space like that, especially on a map like Smashville where the sides are pretty close in, yeah, you don't want to do that against the Earl. No. That, that, that's for sure. It, it'll hurt. It'll hurt a lot. Nice forward now, tilt. Earl showing so much strength with his Roy. Oh, bad trade, but putting Earl in good position gets the two frame this time. Good. Uh, Weird exchange. It manages to save yep. Dan. Forward tilt range. Just dashing in and out of Dan's face and is managing to work, but Dan gets, the, so gets the reversal and gets the edge guard. Another really good edge guard sequence from Dan. We can't count Dan out just yet. Oh no. Mario is very good at getting combos, especially with a little bit of rage cooking in there. A little bit of rage in that platform. It makes all the difference. Uh, oh, gets the cape. That's a true really smart cape. Imagine, imagine had he tried to up and he went the wrong way and died. 
Uh, Earl, I mean. Forward tilt right on shield. Gets a back throw. This is dangerous. Oh, he tried to end it right there. I don't blame him. But that's uh, going to take it. Yeah, neutral get up. Tried to get back on stage as fast as he could. And Earl managed to clip him with active frames of the F tilt on his wake up. And now Earl goes up two games to one. All right. Are we going to stick with the Roy? Oh, yeah. We're, we're, sticking with, we're, we're sticking with our characters. All right. Game four. Going to Lilat. This is an, actually an interesting counterpick because Roy actually doesn't really do too bad on Lilat either. Because with the height of the platforms, it's actually at a height where Roy, even with the sour spot, he can cover the platforms really well with his sword. Yeah, I think I think this is more of a comfort pick for Dan. Dan does like uh, seem like this stage uh, and what Yoshi. It's, it's kind of like his replacement to Yoshi's. He like likes that the uh, tilt for some reason. Dodging it out, jab on shield, nope. Big punish, down tilt, tech chase. Oh, good parry on uh, Earl's part, but Dan with the uh, rest of the jabs to kind of make up for it. Yeah, j jab is a very good option. If you have a rapid attack, it does very good against parries. Yep. Oh, whiffed F smash, and the F tilt's going to come out and once again give Earl the lead. I'm, oh, wow, only two hits and it did 12 damage. Um, Honestly, I might think that forward tilt might be the reason that he switched to Roy. Probably. It's giving him, it's give, I mean, up, up as well. But it's giving him that quick burst uh, kill yeah. attack. And then the up is giving him the, um, you know, the, the large range uh, horizontally of uh, anti air. Yeah. I mean, well, Krom's F tilt also kind of functionally serves that. It's just this time, it, the, the sweet spot, I think, gives it a little bit more damage. And also, it gives him a pretty good, like, close kind of option for ledge. Oh, he's dead. Uh, oh, 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 no. Okay. I, yeah, Dan kind of knew. That, that would have been very hard Dang. to get back from at that point. Yeah, Earl called him out on that neutral getup and just deleted his life, like, straight up. But Dan walking away with a fifth place. Not, yeah. not too